Hello everyone, welcome back into my kitchen. I just got home, it's late, and I just wanna make something really quick for dinner. So come on, let me show you what I'm making. Okay, so this is what I'm working with uh, tonight. I have here a little more than a pound of um, ground beef. Usually I buy 80-20, but today I bought 90-10, uh, so 10% uh, fat. All right, let me show you my seasonings and stuff. Here I have two, four, six, eight, about nine cloves of garlic, a sliver here of ginger, a few sprigs of cilantro, one habanero, you don't have to use that if you don't want to, and about four sprigs of thyme. And what I'm gonna do is put all these along with the juice of about a quarter of a lime into my blender, blend it up and mix it into uh, my beef. And then I will come back. Okay, so my beef is uh, seasoned. I also added in one tablespoon of my beef bouillon powder and about a teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. Okay, let's go on over to the stove and start this process. All right, so I have my heavy bottom pot here on the stove. And what I'm gonna add in here is about a half of a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds. And I'm also going, oh, did I say I have two tablespoons of oil in here? I <laughs> have two tablespoons of oil. And I'm going in with, this is about a third of a cup of onions. I'm just gonna let this uh, toast here and saute for a, a minute or so. Okay, now that that's been going there for about a minute and a half, I'm gonna go in here now with a teaspoon and a half of my curry powder. And I'm also going to add a little uh, turmeric powder. I'm calling that a half of a teaspoon. I'm going to reduce my heat now and I want to let this gently cook. But what I'm trying to do is make sure that I cook my curry enough so that it doesn't taste raw when the dish is done. Okay, so I've lowered my flame here and I will continue to watch it and I'll be back when I think we need to do something else. All right, so this has been going here and it's gotten uh, pretty grainy and it's very fragrant. So what I want to do is I want this to cook a little more. So I am going to add a little water just to ensure that it does not burn. So I don't know, that was mm, maybe close to a quarter cup or so. Now pour the rest. Let's call that a third of a cup or so. And that will come up to boil pretty quickly and I'm just gonna let it cook until it sizzles and goes all the way down and all the liquid has reduced. Okay, if you look here now, you will see that the curry has separated from the oil, which is what we, we want. It has toasted nicely and it's been, I would say close to 10 minutes or so. All right, now what I'm going to do is crank my heat up and go in with my beef mixture. And I'm just going to cook this on high, stirring frequently. Just like if you're making tacos or something and you're going to be stirring it to get it to uh, cook and come apart into little pieces. And the thing I like about making curry with ground beef is that <clears throat> it cooks very, very quickly. Um, regular beef would take a while to cook down because you'll be using stew beef, the, stew, the meat that you use to make stew, and that takes a while. Okay, 
So I'm going to continue to tend to this and I will come back when we go to the next step. Okay, so our meat is going here and I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of ground coriander. Let me taste to see just how much salt I have in here. Okay, we definitely need more. So I'm going to go in with some more of my beef bouillon. Another tablespoon. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add some potatoes. So I have some potato or aloo here. There are four. I think it was four of them that I cut into chunks. You want them about the same size and get them in here. Okay. Um, let me give it a stir. And now I'm going to taste again. No, nope, we still need more salt. Because now the potato will take up salt. So that's another tablespoon or so. And I'm going to go in with hot water. Okay. That's enough to cover it. And what I'm going to do now is lower my heat here to about medium and lift this up. And let it go until the potato is almost done. Okay, so this has been going here for about 15, 20 minutes. And my potato is almost done. What I'm gonna add now is some green peas. Just so I could say there was a vegetable in here. <laughs> All right, and I wanna, um, let this uh, liquid go down a little bit more and then we'll be all ready. Okay guys, we've arrived. I have added a half a teaspoon of my ground cumin or jeera and I chopped in a couple sprigs of um, cilantro and I tasted it and it tastes lovely. You can serve this with white rice, serve it with roti. Um, just it, It's just easy to prepare, economical, and delicious. I hope you guys take the time to try this recipe because I believe if you do, you're going to love it. Thank you so much for stopping back into my kitchen. I sincerely appreciate you, and I look forward to you coming back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Bye!